A company called Dion Fashion reached out to me on Instagram and asked me to wear their products and be a brand ambassador. But they have clothes and jewelry and I have an art channel, so all I could think is what am I gonna do with pants on my channel? But then I saw that they have shoes and I've been wanting to paint a pair of shoes for a minute. So they sent me this package. When we open them up, this is what they look like. My first instinct is that it's really cool that they sent this to separate the shoes. That way they don't scuff or rub each other. So that's nice. And also since I send out so much merch and uh, prints and packaging and everything like that, I do also think it's kind of cool that they've got like the bag with the little window in it. So that's also really neat. But for the shoes themselves, uh, my first thought is I'm not a shoe connoisseur. Like uh, I don't know shoes that well, but right off the bat, these are really nice. Like they've got a leather piece on the back of them suede what feels like canvas so there's lots of material going on they got this neat little strip on the side i don't know what that indicates or if it indicates anything or if it's just you know a little bit of flare for the bottom of the shoe totally blank canvas tongue so i don't know maybe i can work with that but again i'm not a shoe connoisseur so i don't know if this is a really nice shoe or if it's not but these look pretty cool already so now what i need to do is go ahead and take a picture of these bring them into Procreate and figure out what I'm gonna paint on these shoes. I thought I'd do a TikTok live to get a few ideas for what to put on these shoes. Then after that, we had a really good time talking random nonsense with everybody. After bringing a picture of the shoes into Procreate, the first thing that I do is outline them so that I can play with different color patterns on the shoes. Then I can sketch the different characters from the TikTok live session and see what looks best. So now I've got my sketch done and my design ready for these shoes. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the background color and get started painting. For these shoes, I'm gonna be using Plaid's FX Flexible Acrylic Paint. This project, unlike any project I've done before, I've never painted clothes, shoes, fabric. I've never used flexible paint before. So this is all new territory for me, which makes me a little bit nervous, but extremely excited because I've wanted to do something like this for a really long time. I've never used this paint before, especially on multiple surfaces like this, so that's what really has me nervous about this project. I'm gonna block out all of my background colors just like I did in Procreate. And I'm immediately impressed with how well the material is absorbing the paint while keeping a really bright and vibrant pigment. Using a hairdryer is gonna make painting these shoes go a lot faster. So I can dry one layer and then immediately start painting again. Originally, I had six colors to do this project, but I couldn't help myself and I went out and bought nine more colors. After buying these colors, I thought about how cool it would be to do a galaxy on the very front of these shoes. Since I like to give my characters depth, I'm also experimenting with mixing these paints. Just like any paint, I assume they're gonna mix just fine as long as I only mix the FX paint with other FX paint. That way these shoes are only gonna have flexible paint on them. Cause the last thing I want is for these shoes to start cracking after they're done. At this point, I want to give a huge shout out to Dwar for sponsoring this video and providing the shoes for this project. Make sure to check out all of their apparel, jewelry, footwear, and all of their products on their website. And make sure to use affiliate code PDSean to get a discount at checkout.
So far, these FX paints have been incredible for painting on all of these different surfaces. I'm painting on suede, canvas, and leather, and I'm having zero issues with any of them. And mixing these paints has been so easy. The only reason I was so nervous about this project is because I've never used these paints or painted on any surface like these. But halfway through this project, these shoes look incredible and I'm fully confident using these paints. With all the characters and logos done, I'm gonna paint drips all the way around the soles of these shoes to cover any paint marks that bled over onto the rubber. And now, the final product. These shoes are finished, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment below to let me know what you think. I wanna give a huge shout out to Dion for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out their website and all of their products. The link is in the description. And use affiliate code PDSean for a discount at checkout. Also, while working on this video, there's been a huge change to the studio. You'll notice the YouTube channel is no longer PDSean, it is now Painting Schmainting. So you can check out these shoes and all of my artwork on the brand new website, schmainting.com. Also want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you want to help contribute to the studio and get some really cool stuff while you do, like your names in my videos or brand new prints every month of all my new artwork, go to patreon.com slash painting Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.